right in this video I'm going to show you some of the tools on the, the right click menu on the power surfacing and I'm going to give it to you an easy option to just not wasting your time and get quickly to your features so if you just see this part right here um, I will try to catch you a lot of things with the right click menu here as you see you have multiple options that are exactly the same at the top menu here but it's just faster to get to these tools with the right click so first I'm going to use this as I'm doing always and if I just need to extrude my board like this it's holding the A key and I'm going to extrude all right so from the right click menu also you have something called bridge so you can say bridge from here and you can use bridge here all right so I can use it from here or I can right click and click bridge and what else you can actually doing a bridge for all of this board so selecting this edges with this edges and right click clicking bridge so now you have your board bridged and about open edges you can see that I can close them by selecting any edge of this loop and go to quad fold so now it's gonna close it for you now however you have also the quad fold on your right click menu here so you can just go for it easily and I can select this faces right click and hard crease so this option is quickly and more fun to handle with and also this one I can right click press on flatten so it gives me a flat edge and I can change the angle or change the how I want it to be all right so if you just want to keep it like this you can also control if I just need to make this bigger or something and exactly the same here if I just scale this up you can see now I can scale it up like this and I can go back and hold the A key so I can insert an edge here and when I just scale this up you can see it's making the base more detailed All right so now let's pretend that it's a lamp and I want to make like a chamfer on here so I'm gonna insert an edge crease it with the slider go a little bit up and as you see this space now it's more beautiful and now I'm going to take this section and it can make it like taller like this all right now from the back you can change how you need this to be all right so let's say something like this if I just remove it this one and I need to change this angle and move this a little bit here you can select this two loop again and right click bridge between them so it's gonna give you the bridge nice and clean like that okay now hold the A key and I'm gonna make some edits on here something like that and I'm gonna close it like this so right click and quad fill of course you can use it manually if you're just not 
meeting your requirements so I'm gonna just connect him them like this and this should be a little bit bumpy like that or just make it curvature so on the sub day modes it looks like this and I can fully crease this one here so it looks like it's just separated from the other port right am I changing this a little to be more organic and also this one and taking this hole and rotate it okay so for here we can see the rest of the menu tools so if you just selected these two faces I can right click and easily go to the offset or the bevel option here you have multiple option and it's just controlling the scale controlling how number you need to offset and the distance you need to go okay and of course this can be done manually by holding the A key and bevel inside with the scale one and again and I can hard crease this and this all right so I can just crease it this also and make it semi flat so that give it a more detail for it And you can choose this edge and make crease if you want like that right click menu you have also the selection tools all the selection tools you got here switch to the face ring and this is the edge ring selection so it's selecting the edge ring like this and you have the switch to edge loop so it's giving you the switch loop here that you can manage your edges and the vertices so it's just selecting the vertices if you select it and also for the others once you just select one of those you just can't select other stuff for this one it's selecting all so the flats lines vertices okay and the rest of tools here you also got the merging tool if I just have maybe for an example something like this open they can select these two vertices right click press merge and for this one and press merge so it's just merging you the faces okay we have also this flatten tool it's also on the right click menu so if I just got the box boot go to this section right click flatten so it gives you a flat cuts okay now also on this menu you can see I have remove and delete what remove does is just removing the lines or the edges from the face and what the delete do is just deleting the whole face like this so if you just need to delete the face right click also deletes everything and I can control if I need to change something okay so something like this and I'm going to close this so from here I'm gonna extrude twice and this is a good example to show you the merge tool also 
selecting these two vertices and merge and this one and merge and we're gonna do the same to this okay so now you have fully closed faces and I can crease this to be sharp like that okay now if I just happy with this shape I can right click and give you a subdivide more so it's giving you ability to do a lot of details on your port so for an example let me make a bevel here with the box mode I'm just holding the A key and bevel a little crease bevel again and crease so as you see you have something like this so you can see you did extra details and I can also make a cut extrude and instead of beveling if I just go back I can choose this loop and right click extrude okay so I'm gonna just make the distance a little bit smaller and I'm gonna connect these two together and also from here and because of this just a symmetry object I can delete this and any edge here press on mirror so this part is now mirrored and you can do on just simple way and it's gonna be on the other the same here and make it a little bit at the bottom now I'm gonna crease the three of those edges a little maybe at 40 and selecting the metal edge go inside a little so if you just go to here you can see this nice cut out I may can add more creases here to be more square All right Now let's give it a little bit curvature at the back, like this. You just notice here you can see that it's a little bit distorted on this section here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna easily go to lot tools and at level 1 or maybe level 2 we can see here you can select this and make it a little bit out okay and right click level of details off to see the difference so it's just a little bit better now and I'm gonna go to the level one To give me more detail to this section so something like this and 
and from here just a little bit outside all right so this might be did it a little bit without losing our current sub D so I just just stayed on this level of subdivision without losing my current state of subdivision and at the end we just like showed everything except we have here if I just selected two edge loops right click and it can create loop edge from this right click menu and you can see now I can just control how much number of vertices or location of them or how much they the amount of pinch of light to all them okay so this is for today if I just convert it you can see that everything looks great my board is just solid and let me give it like a material and this guys should be light so we're gonna go to light let's try the white lid So yes, everything looks great here. So I just hope you learn it and enjoy the tutorial. And this is for today. How can you use the right click menu to get to your commands easily? If you just um, going more to the menu there continuously. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.